You can also, of course, use a graphical client on Linux. And to do that, you need to install it first because it's not on there by default. Pretty easy if you are using uh, Ubuntu 9.10. You have the Ubuntu Software Center. If you're using a previous version, you'll see Add Remove Programs here. I'm going to go to the Software Center. We are going to enter IRC, see what it comes up with. And there are several uh, out there that you can use. So there's Lost IRC and uh, and and Quasal IRC and Conversation, but the one that uh, is pretty um, much installed anywhere is XChat. So XChat is a separate IRC client. We're going to install it. Enter the root password. What was it again? Yeah, that was it. It's going to download and install. It's pretty convenient. I mean. The uh, Ubuntu Software Center in 9.10 is, uh, is, is, is it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, okay, we close that. We go to Applications, and I think it's under Internet. There you go. XChat IRC. And once again, we get um, all these questions. Nickname, second choice, third choice, username, real name. It's been all it's all been filled in because it. Uh, takes a look at your username and then again there are all of these servers out there that you can connect to now Freenode's in there but we'll just add it should it not be in there Freenode servers let's see if we can add we can edit it yep there you go now we need to uh, enter a server edit irc dot freenode.net and you can actually say um, you can give separate information for separate servers you can choose uh, to auto connect and so forth and so forth but in this exercise we're not going to do that we're just going to leave it at that we're going to edit the server irc.freenode.net and leave it at that where's my OK button. There you go. Connect. See if that works. There you go. I clicked connect and uh, it connected to the IRC Freenode server. Um, and it will ask you, what do you want to do? Do you want to join the channel later or join the channel now? Or do you want to see the list window? You can choose to open and close this window by default. I'm going to tell it to join the channel. I want to join Ubuntu again. OK. Click OK, and there you go. It has joined the channel already. And you can see that XChat looks a lot like um, uh, like MIRC. We're going to join another channel to show you the differences. Join, I don't know, Ubuntu.uk. It's pretty early. There won't be anybody there, I think. But you can see you can switch between the different channels here. Here's your chat window. Here are the users that are on there. And it will basically give you kind of the same interface to chat than the MIRC client on Windows, but this time on Linux. If you want to close the application, cross on the on up top and you're done. You want to quit? Yes. There you go. That was the graphical way to chat on Linux. Now, what if you don't have IRC on your own computer? What if you're on a friend's computer or perhaps at work? Of course, there is always the web, and there are plenty of web-based IRC chat clients out there. I'll just open up Firefox, and I'll show you about two of them. One of them is Mibit, www.mibit.com. Links will, of course, be in the show notes. Mibit is a web-based chat service that will uh, allow you to um, chat on IRC. Now, you can launch Mibit web chat here. Takes a little while. I'm going to get rid of the bookmarks toolbar here. And you can see what you want to do. You can connect to several servers that are already pre-listed, and your nickname and the channels. But here's a cool thing. You can also log into Twitter. So you will have kind of an IRC kind interface uh, in Twitter. So I'll show you. 
Now we're not going to uh, pick a server from the list. We're going to pick a server from the list here, uh, and I'll tell you the reason. The reason for this is uh, that the irc.freenode.net server that I showed you uh, does not allow connections coming from Mibit because they have their own web-based chat interface, and we'll get to that one later. So here we'll just choose one. I don't care. <coughs> Nickname. I don't know any channels on this server, so I might look if I can find one. Um, for example, Dollnet server. See if the channel Linux exists there. And connect. Oh, night name. We're connected to the server, but I can't get into the channel Linux because it's a closed one, which is kind of bummer. Join, I don't know if there's a channel called Beginners. Yeah, there's a channel called Beginners. There's nobody there, um, but I just wanted to show you how it works. So you have your server window, you have your chat window, and you of course have your home screen. Now if you want to log into Twitter as well, it will open up a Twitter window where you will see all of the nice uh, tweets coming in. Hey guys, wave to the KWTV crowd. I'm showing them Twitter via Mibit. And your tweets will get posted that way. So that way you can keep track of your um, IRC, uh, your, your tweets, and you can chat on IRC. You can even connect to several servers at the same time. There you go. Deep Space IRC, that's a new server. And here is the Linux uh, channel on that server. And as you can see, they're not always the same, but this is a web-based interface that actually allows you to connect to different servers, different channels, and Twitter. If you want to leave, <coughs> just close the website. It will close all the connections that you have. Now, if you want to chat on Freenode, where we uh, talked about uh, in the previous demonstrations, you can go to webchat.freenode.net. It's a very simple interface. It will ask you your name the channels that you want to join and you just click connect and there's your server window now we're gonna see uh, you'll see all the different windows here is your server window or your status window this is your channel window and you can join more channels by just doing the same thing that we did in the um, in the other window, as in the other clients. So you see all the different channels are here. Let's see. And if you want to disconnect, you just close the window. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little show about IRC and have gained a little knowledge about how to use one of the most powerful chat protocols in the Internet. So, I hope to see you chatting away pretty soon, yapping away on all kinds of IRC server, and we might bump into each other on some channel, who knows. So, if you uh, enjoyed the show, please let us know. Send us feedback at nightwise at nightwise.com. That's K-N-I-G-H-T-W-I-S-E at nightwise.com. Or you can even follow us on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash nightwise. If you enjoy the show, tweet about it. Uh, show people where they can find it and uh, what's it all about. Because the more listeners and the more viewers we get, the happier we are. That's it for me. I'll be off. Uh, there will be an, uh, another KWTV episode soon. And until then, you know, let technology work for you. Bye.